tonight, welcome back to the Street Assembly, brought to you live by Citizens Information Network. I'm here present live at CMS. We ha I have, I have uh, 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 some distinguished um, street senators, distinguished street House of Assembly members, distinguished representative of the common men on the street here with me. To my right, I have Mr. Um, architect Ogedengbe. Right to my left, I have Mr. Yinka. Mr. Yinka, good morning, sir. Mr. Adebanji, good morning, sir. Good morning. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Um, we've seen the headlines. Let me go by the headline of the newspaper you have. It says, autumn defects to PDP. APC says government's action is very, very surprising. What can you say about this, sir? There's nothing surprising about it. Because uh, our head of state... Open his, his eyes. Add my killing his people. Why should he stay in APC again? He's a stupid man if he stays in APC. I'm a strong supporter of APC. Right from the beginning. But as full of people, they kill people for not, for not there. I'm now against him. You are now against APC. Wow. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm architect of Bay. I greet you, sir. Sir, um, you've heard what Mr. Yinka said. Um, going by the paper you have on your hand, that is the, um, this day. It says more troubles for APC as autumn finally defects to PDP. Do you support the defection of autumn or you think the defection of autumn from APC to, the, to PDP is a wrong move? The defection is not the issue. Because even if it defects, the problem still remains. If for him to have defected to APC does not change anything. But I think he should even have more advantage if he stayed there to salvage it together. Mm. Maybe he will be able to use his influence to be able to see how this uh, menace of uh, killing at random will be curbed. But now, by the time he is at uh, the other side now, the president maybe must we maybe you know like the other time the Oshibajo went there yes. to you know maybe was even trying to pacify them thinking that this one this we we but now that he has defected even the assistant may even be more far remote mm. that is the way I look at it so I feel that the issue is to tackle the real killing not even jumping from this thing does not change you can change your clothes and put in another one does not mean that you have already changed the inside mm. the wow. main thing now to be resolved wow thank you very much mr okay um he says the whole thing has to be resolved in fact as a matter of truth the way the street assembly day today um, um everywhere just the heart People don't give now their own opinion whether they, they, they like the defection of APC members to PDP or whether they don't like the defection of APC members to PDP. When I don't hear them as they go, we see the CMS here and as they hot, I go come back again. No touch that die, will they come back? All right, welcome back, viewers. Um, here with me is Mr. Galtiman um, Lehman. Um, sir, I'd like you to really introduce yourself to the people. Well, I'm a marine consultant, but I contested the presidency in 2007 under the new Nigeria People's Party. The name is Galtiman Lehman. Wow, Mr. Galtiman Lehman, you've heard him. He, uh, um, 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 he was contested in 2007 as the, under the umbrella of new Nigerian People's Party. Mr. Galtiman Lehman, what would you say about um, um, the Nigerian democracy as a whole, the, the system? Well, it's democracy in the country is evolving, and the most important thing is that you've been seeing peaceful transition from civilian administration to another civilian administration. Kudos to Jonathan Goodluck for dousing the tension in 2015. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, sir, um, let's come to the streets because we are here on the street and um, we've sampled several newspaper headlines and we've seen that um, almost all the newspapers headline what is making waves is defection by members lawmakers from APC to PDP do you think these defections are about um, selfish interest or self interest or the interest of the common men well the most important thing people need to understand about politics is that there are three political parties in the world anywhere there are uh, a nation builders there are two uh, people that are more interested in uh, political party acquiring power, 
for their individual interests instead of the common patrimony. And then there are the gullible lot who never care about what is happening. So basically that is what is happening. Nation builders normally takes time. It's very uninteresting. You know, development it takes a lot of time. And the people don't happen to know them. Some of those people that are defecting now had used the good fortune of the Buhari uh, name tag in 2015 to coast along. But was their soul in APC as progressives? That was the question. Wow, wow. You've heard them from the presidential candidate in 2007 from uh, um, um, New Nigerian People's Party. It's about the people, not about their selfish interests. As a matter of truth, the way in don't put them, say, nation builders, not the real people, we're supposed to governance. Those are not the people we're going to put you for mind. Those are not the people where we say, if they pass any policy, let be about them, not about you, where they dear than they think. About you, we put them for position, nine than they think. When we come back, we're going to talk more with Mr. Galatima. So, sir, um, still on defection, um, do you think the defection from, of, of members of APC, lawmakers, senators, in fact, we will have governors defected from APC to PDP. Do you think this defection is going to have a significant impact? Or, in other words, will it affect the coming back of President, um, President Muhammad Buhari in 2019? You see, what the Nigerians are mostly interested about is the commitment of the people to the electoral process. If you see what Adam Oshomola has said, those that are actually defecting, he called them mercenaries. Mercenaries, what's the definition of mercenaries? And mercenaries, as I earlier on indicated to you, are those that are there for politics, for their personal aggrandizement. So if their personal interest is not being met in the political process, the likelihood is that, it's a, why are we going to have uh, another fortune that we can build on? And that's why you see a lot of politicians jumping from one political party to another political party, as long as their interest is not met. But nation builders uh, remain consistent. And uh, that's why you see the likes of Fashola, the likes of uh, Tinibu, the like all these other nation builders consistently remaining and arguing in spite of the military dictatorship and in spite of all the difficulties. So that's, uh, it's always out there playing itself out. A, nation builders are consistent, they are long term in perspective, and a lot of people don't even come to realize that because their lifestyle is very uninteresting. So, Bob, will it affect the coming back? Will it affect President Bill? even enhance the fortune of the Buhari administration. You wouldn't believe it. Whoa. Because Nigerians have seen that uh, this administration has exposed the 350 Nigerians that are holding on to, through some kind of uh, toxic waste, uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, uh, collateral that they have given to banks, yeah. holding on to 1.7 trillion, uh, you know, you've seen a lot of buildings imagine in choice locations in Ikoi, in Victoria Island, without anybody knowing who are the ones that are behind these buildings. So a lot of people are now likely to gang up to see, as uh, the president will always say, corruption fighting back. So you have heard him. The defection of political um, lawmakers from APC to PDP might even enhance the coming back of President, uh, President uh, Muhammad Buhari come 2019. You have heard him. You have heard him. You have heard him. Very, very interesting. Thank you very much, sir, for having me on the show. For having you on the show. Okay, so my name is Tibi Pando. We sit there in the streets. We sit there talking about the hot. Anyhow you want Siam, anyhow you want Duam, we get this straight. Now, Siam has been the location. You don't hear from the presidential candidate of A. NNPP in 2007, Mr. Galilema, the man don't talk plenty thing. Who be nation builder? Who be um, the people where they're there for their own selfish interests? When we come back, we're going to talk to more people.